all right, I've gotten as much fun as I want out of this, uh, out of this project. Um, I didn't need a sweeper, right? I've got other things, but uh, I did want to, uh, I did want to take a look at these things because they were so iconic back in the day. And uh, it is functional now, and, and I may use it to measure some filters someday. So you never know. It's, it's uh, working really, really well above 500, and uh, it's certainly usable uh, below 500. Um, you know, spectrum analyzers can normalize the curve, so yeah, no problem there. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, button this thing up. Um, I was looking at the videos I was going to post, and uh, I really don't have a video on me uh, moving, moving this thing outside like I said, I didn't have an extension card, so I had to move it outside. So let me show you that. Yeah, maybe it's just self-evident, but uh, there's a, a connector here, uh, and there's 10 wires that I soldered onto that connector, and then they just uh, they just come down over to this guy. So they're all they're all just uh, soldered on front and back. So 10 wires to 10 wires. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll desolder them all and uh, put this back in its little box and stuck shove it inside. So let's do that. Test wire out of the way. Yeah, this one goes on instead. Let's see how they could put it on this way. Let's see, let's make sure we got all the screws in the bottom. Let's see, this goes in front. All right, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, it isn't perfect, but certainly usable now. And the main reason that I like to do projects like this, um, especially when I was young, was that I learned so much, right? Get something pretty old that's pretty cheap, that nobody wants anymore, and um, take it apart, try to reverse engineer it, try to see how they solve certain problems. You're going to learn from, from the, those engineers, especially great engineers who design something like this. Um, try to fix things. Um, you'll hone your troubleshooting skills. You'll, you'll, you'll discover mistakes that you make. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, I should have done that. Um, and um, you may end up with something, but that's not the main purpose. When I was young, the main purpose was to learn. And um, Probably more often than not, uh, I couldn't fix it. I didn't, I didn't know enough, and I didn't have the tools. I didn't have a nice oscilloscope. I didn't have a nice, you know, whatever. And um, 
So when I got done with the project uh, and I learned as much as I could with the project, then uh, I would end up with, this, with something like this that didn't work, right? Well, then um, I would take it all apart, right? I would strip it all down to every single component and I would stare at every single component as, as it came out of it. Oh, that's a capacitor. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that kind before. Um, let me put that in. And you start, people say, well, where do I get, where do I get things to start? Well, you know, buy something like this and tear it all apart. And then you'll have all kinds of things, right? You'll have resistors, you'll have capacitors, you'll have switches, you'll have BNCs. I don't know how many BNCs I've stripped out of equipment and I have a ton of BNCs that I've just removed from equipment. You know, you'd get, you'd get six out of this one, right? Uh, maybe there's some in the back even, I don't know. Um, uh, this step attenuator, right? This step attenuator alone, if you were going to go buy that one, right? Just on the used market, this step attenuator, you'd have to pay at least $60 for it, at least. Um, so, you know, it's got, if you remember, it had a BNC input and a BNC output. So extremely, extremely useful. This just bolts in. They, they, didn't, they didn't build that. They bought it and they just bolted it in, right? So really, really useful things. Um, multi multi-switch, multi-contact switches. Um, maybe some things won't, won't be any good, like, like the scale or whatever, right? Um, and when I was young, I would save every, every nut and bolt. I put it all into little boxes. I still do. It's still a bad habit of mine. <laughs> I've got too many screws. Um, but yeah, you can learn so much from, uh, from trying to repair things, even if you fail. So yeah, like I say, do and don't be afraid to fail.